Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, B from Be About Town, and we have to talk. Your girl has purchased a Chanel bag. Yes, you know I don't believe in wasting anyone's time. Nah, we don't waste time around here. We get down to business, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's chat. Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm on my way back to Fashion Foul. Um, I'm going to insert the video of where I went the first time. I'm actually going to pick up a second bag from their Chelsea location. Uh, the initial bag that I got just did not fit my when I when I sat on it for a couple of days. It didn't seem like it would mesh or merge into my wardrobe as effortlessly effortlessly as I assumed it would. I When I saw the bag on the site, I just thought this is the perfect for me stepping into getting to let me not even say know the brand because it's not like I was doing a deep dive on history. I just wanted to buy the bag. I just wanted to own one if I'm being quite frank. And so while the majority of these, the bag is a Chanel bag are in my opinion you know, very classic, very dress dressy, more formal. I feel like you can really still like dress up those or dress down rather is what I mean to say. Dress down those bags. You can really like, you know, if you have a sense of style, there's a way that you can put it on with like the most simplest outfit and still serve, if that makes sense. And I'm really like wanting to... Um, just, you know, affordably, obviously, get into, you know, just, I just want the bag. Um, and I, right now, don't want to spend too much, but I don't want to spend too less. And I feel like the first option that I chose, because right now I'm rambling, let me get to the point. The first bag that I chose, I actually was in great condition, but I think the contrast, and I'll insert a picture, was a little too much for my, uh, personal style, I felt like it, I thought it would merge, mesh with my existing wardrobe, but, and it might still, like when I think of it, I feel like it would, but then when I had it, I feel like, I don't know, or maybe I felt like, honestly, I felt like, am I being too cheap with myself and denying myself, I guess like, more expensive does not always equate better, but I felt like maybe I was being too cautious, um, which is sensible, but too cautious to um, my own, you know, demise. <laughs> but I was, think I think I was being a little too cautious. But anyway, we're headed to the showroom. I've already recorded it, so you guys will see. I'm going to insert that experience. I'm going to post a picture of the bag I initially purchased and returned. And then we're going to unbox this one together.
Okay, so, you know, no time wasted. I want to show the bag that I purchased. Of course, or let me not say of course, like that would be the only way, but for right now, it is the only way I would spend money on a Chanel bag because I, you know, the way my wallet is set up, <laughs> you know, we have to look on a pre-loved market. Anyhow, it is a pre-loved bag. It came with the box. It came with the dust bag and it came with the authenticity card. I purchased it from Chanel. Let me show you. And actually, I'm keeping the box. Typically, I just like get rid of the box depending on what type of bag it is, if I have room. And I do have room, but let's, let's, yeah, I feel like the box is needed. Um, I'm going to hold on to the box for a minute, especially because it came with the bag. So I think it, you know, was a nice touch. I want to say that I can appreciate when you buy uh, from the pre-love market and it comes, the item, whatever it is, comes with original packaging. When people hold on to those things, that kind of lets me know that they've cared for it. Um, at the very least, a bag coming with the dust bag. Anyhow, we, we move on. So this is the bag. This is the dust bag. I mean, do you care really? I mean, you've seen them before. This is the bag. This bag is, and I'm, it's, all right. Because I'm not one of those people that knows a ton about the history of Chanel besides public knowledge. I have never done a deep dive on Chanel, her backstory. Um, I do know some of it. Like I know that Carl, so the name of this bag is the Chanel. <laughs> it's from the Cruise Collection 2009. Let me say that. So it's from the 2009 Cruise Collection. And from what I saw online and the information I gathered through brief research is that this is the CC Rhinestone East-West flat bag. Now it's what I loved about it, because I don't want to be all over the place with this, is that it had a flap, but the style of the bag is obviously not traditional Chanel. It's Chanel, yes, but it's not made exactly like a traditional quilted bag or chevron bag. Initially, as you can see in the video, I did want to go early on with a quilted bag. I actually looked at an east-west um, quilted bag but once I had it for like over 24 hours, actually I kept it for 48 hours and then I decided to return it because I just was like, I'm not sure this is the right bag for me. And I'm not sure I have footage of the bag, but I'm going to put a picture here so you see exactly what bag it is I returned. Uh, and I returned it and then I went home and thought and thought, and I remember this bag on Fashion Files website. And I was like, wait a minute, that bag, even though it has rhinestones, because that's one of my earlier reservations, will the stone stay on the bag? I don't want it to, you know, to start falling apart. But then I thought it's from 2009. And if you know anything about Chanel, and I don't know much about Chanel in terms of its history, I do know through word of mouth, reviews, etc., that a lot of uh, their current bags have a lot of like, you know, workmanship issues and, you know, people are not very happy with some of the wear and tear because obviously you're paying a pretty penny for it. Anyhow, fast forward, this is the bag that I purchased. It's in a lambskin leather, which is... Another thing I have reservation with, but, and even more so now having the bag because it is like butter and anything will leave 
some type of mark on the bag. However, I'm okay with that because I don't, first of all, I'm not going to be wearing it until it's like terribly, you know, worn looking. And I think I'm going to take great care because one, it's my money. And two, it's my first Chanel bag. So, and because this is not a bag that you would, I, I wouldn't anyhow, um, wear like, every day. This is not like an everyday bag. I have a lot of handbags or enough handbags, let me say, uh, because I don't think I have as many as a lot of people, but I have enough handbags where I don't have to reach for this one bag. So this is not like my first designer bag or my first handbag where, you know, it's going to be like a go-to. I Let me keep it 100% real. This is going to be my go out on dates with my husband bag, go out to dinner when I want, if it, you know, goes with what I'm wearing, bag. This is not going to be, I just feel like carrying it bag. Um, no, not at all. Yeah. But we ramble. Anyhow, back to the specs of the bag. And like I usually do, I have the things on screen because your girl forgets. I want to say the length of this bag is about 12 inches. It is about 6.75, if I'm remembering correctly, um, in terms of width. The depth is maybe 3.25. I'm going to make sure I have everything correct on screen. The chain drop is about 8 inches, about 8 inches. This is what the back of the bag looks like. This is the bottom of the bag. As you can tell, it's it's just like a leather flat bag. Very reminiscent of other designer bags, like a YSL, for example. Um, Gucci almost, but not exactly. Uh, if we're thinking about the reissue, for lack of better words, of the Gucci horse fit bag that everybody is going crazy over, um, it's long in the sense that, you know, it has the same like width that Tom Ford, uh, reissued bag has the same like East West, you know, structure, uh, which I absolutely love. And I think that is why I decided, and I didn't just decide quickly. I decided to go with this bag, although the earlier quilted bag was also an East West design. And I think I really like that about Chanel. Also, I found, in my research for buying a Chanel bag, amongst other things, is that I like this design because it's not the typical design. Um, and also, I found that it was limited edition. I wasn't going to see, it wouldn't be like the run of the mill and that is no shade whatsoever. But I felt like, okay, how can I get a bag that I really would like? Doesn't necessarily have to be quilted, but it has its own flair. And I think this answered that for me because it's in excellent condition. Okay, some other things really quickly that I appreciate about the bag, especially because it's not the quilted design that I would not mind, but at this current juncture, I decided on this bag because one, any of the quilted bags that I came across that were in my, you know, budget, uh, were kind of worn looking. And although a lot of people like the more vintage look, and I do too, I can appreciate a vintage bag. I didn't want to get a bag that needed a bunch of like rehabbing. You know, I know some people purchase these Project Chanel bags and, but then I'm assuming because they have the budget to send it to a handbag spa or someplace to get it, you know, rehabs. I didn't have that budget. I needed something within my, you know, param spending parameters that checked off several boxes. And again, this did it for me. The color of the hardware was a selling point for me too, because I found that a lot of the bags within my spending 
uh, parameters. If it was gold tone, for example, you could see a lot of wear on the metal. And I didn't want to buy a bag with gold tone and have it already looking like it needed, you know, to be replated. I'm rambling. Let's move on. I want to show you guys the inside. Okay. So right now I have like, uh, some, uh, dust bags uh, that I have on hand folded up to keep the shape because it didn't come with anything inside. And they, ne they never do. They come with a dust bag, if anything. Um, but, you know, they're not giving you a bag pillow, which I probably need to purchase. I was trying to find actually a um, insert organizer to kind of help the bag maintain its structure because it is very soft and you can see how it can possibly give in on itself. It is not exactly structureless, but it's so soft, the lambskin, that it's easy for this bag to kind of like, you know, give in. Um if it's left to give in, right? Like if I had no place to store it correctly. Anyhow, it did come with the authenticity card, like I said, and I appreciate that. The inside of the bag is in this gray striped lining. There's one inside pocket there and then let me give you a closer view of the bag. So this is what this bag looks like on the inside. This is how the tag comes, just as Chanel. Um, and what does that say? Made in Italy. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see if I can move up. I mean, like this might be a doing the absolute most, but just so that you get an idea of the bag it's very clean on the inside there's no marks no drippings or anything and then there is the sticker you know that also shows the authenticity of the bag this is my chanel east west rhinestone flat bag um and i absolutely love it the leather is divine like i it's so divine and buttery that I almost don't want to touch it. Now, I've had some soft leathers, but this is, this lambskin, this lambskin is lambskin. But anyway, this is the bag I wanted to share with you guys. Um, one, because I love it and I wanted to share my experience. This is the first Chanel bag I've ever owned. Um, let's see if I'll own another. I have been... <laughs> See, this is the problem though. You start looking and you can't stop looking. I have been looking at some red Chanel bags um, because initially I really wanted a red bag, but I was like, girl, mm, slow your roll. Uh, anyhow, this is my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and share and consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys, old and new. We have some new subscribers, guys. I'm so happy you decided to kind of check me out. Not kind of. You actually did. I'm so happy you decided to check me out and even more excited that you stuck around. I appreciate your subscription. Uh, tell a friend. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the bag. Are you eyeing any new bags? It doesn't have to be a Chanel bag. It can be any bag because I don't discriminate. I'm a handbag lover. Um, so let me know. And I, I know some people have some... And see, this is where we ramble, but really quickly, really quickly. I know some people have some reservations about buying on a pre-love market, but I feel like uh, buying on a pre-love market uh, through a trustworthy um, retailer gives you a lot more options. And for me, especially, I, I just shared that, like, listen, we don't have it that way. The way our, we, we want to enjoy life, but we also want to save money. And you know, like I said, we're on the hunt all the time to preserve and conserve coin. Anyhow, that is it. I would check it out. Um, I've seen a few of these bags floating around, but not a lot, which again is a, a nice thing. For me, um, because it's a little different. Not that nobody has it, because obviously 
it was, you know, produced. But because it's limited edition, I think that also really kind of like uh, was a hook for me. Anyway, let's end this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, as always, <laughs> take great care. Bye. I'm not going to be able to do that.